Mexico is not only about cheap street food, there are some fine dining opportunities that you should take advantage of. If you visit Mexico City and have some extra money to spend, everyone will recommend you to try Pujol and Quintonio. In 2019, Pujol was ranked 12th best restaurant in the world ahead of any other restaurant in Mexico and North America. Another one that has been included on the world 50 best restaurant list is Quintonio. As you see here, I spent 2,755 pesos at Pujol and 2,427 pesos at Quintonio, which is about 150 US dollars for each restaurant. Keep in mind, this is just for one person, including tips. In this video, I will walk you through these two restaurants and show you my experience and let you know if you really live up to all the hype. Please make sure to give me a big thumbs up because after this, I may go grow. The first dish that I order comes with squash on the base, flowers on the top, and in the middle, it's crab meat. Also, the crab meat goes so well with the squash, very light and fresh. This is literally the first time in my life eating flowers, which I found very interesting. For this dish, the orange layer is made from pumpkin. Because of the blue tortilla holding everything together, I was about to eat it like a taco, but I'm glad that I didn't do it because the egg yolk is hidden under the leaves and that would have made a mess. Surprisingly, under the egg yolk, there is some kimchi and mushroom. It's very flavorful and tasty, but kimchi is absolutely not what I expected from a Mexican restaurant. Kind of unusual and offbeat. For my next dish, there is avocado and ceviche. The green sauce has an Asian taste. I double checked with my waiter and he told me it was Korean oil. The white sauce they added in there is Peruvian ceviche sauce. The raw fish is so fresh and the whole dish is amazing. Here we come, the most popular dish in Pujol is mole madre. You see there are two circles. The bigger circle is an older mole. It has been prepared for six years. And the smaller one is younger and tastes fresher. Nothing too dramatic when it comes to flavor differences, but it is a very interesting concept. They also serve two tortillas. One of them is made from blue corn and the other has added leaves. And it smells like fresh herb. The following dishes I had are sibes with the Japanese sticky rice, corn in a smoky pot, and the tiniest sobe I've ever had had in my life. Later they served the sherbet to refresh my mouth so that I could ready for the dessert. I really like the shape of the plates. Rather than being a perfect circle, they are irregularly round just like the freshly poured mole. Oops! My banana! Pujo is a great restaurant. We had so much fun trying out their tasting menu. Lots of surprise. I have tried six and seven dishes, two dishes that really, really impressed me, which are ceviche and the crab. Another thing that I like about Pujol is that they combine Mexican cuisine with Asian ingredients, such as Korean oil for the ceviche and the kimchi taco. You may have a question, does it really live up to all the hype? Before I answer that question, I'm going to another restaurant, Quintonio. It is ranked as the best 15th restaurant in the world. Pujol is the 12th. So in Mexico, you always have to pay for the water in the restaurant. Tap water is not safe to drink. In a regular restaurant, it usually costs two to three dollars. But for this guy, in a fancy restaurant, it is eight dollars. I chose tasting menu at Contonio so I could try more options. The first two things are heirloom tomato avocado with grasshopper dressing, the crab with pipian sauce. Next up, we have shrimp and mushroom. The mushrooms are covering the shrimp. They low key taste like beef, which is giving me a smoky charcoal kind of vibe. Next one is the fish of the day with cauliflower puree and those. The little orange things are made from lentils. Cauliflower puree, it just takes everything to the next level. Because I'm already so full, but I still have four more dishes to go. Let's continue with the tasting menu, which is my main course. Chicken, cabbage, and scallops puree. The waiter just poured mole broth, not a typical mole sauce, it's mole broth. So the chicken is so tender. And then plus the scallop puree, wow, it is the best. The following dishes are taco with apple pine nuts, mushroom cream, and cactus sorbet. It is used for resetting your palate for the next plates, which are the dessert 
and mountain cheese and papaya jam. So I've just discovered a secret behind Quintonio logo. I found a leaf from my last dish that looks exactly like the logo. And I asked the waiter if that's the inspiration. And he told me, yes, Quintonio is a type of leaf. Then he gave me a real Quintonio leaf. I feel this one looks more like the logo though. So I've just finished the whole tasting menu at Quintonio. I think my favorite dish is the main course. The chicken is so tender. With the scallop puree and mole broth, it's so tasty. It's incredible. The crab with pipillon sauce is really good too. I would have to say they are tied for the best dish at Quintonio. Quintonio is amazing. It's constantly great from very beginning from the appetizer to entree to dessert. As for the question whether they are worth the hype, yes they are. I personally prefer Quintonio and I feel more eager to go back to. Pujol is also worth the hype. I think it's very creative for Pujol to combine Asian spirit with Mexican cuisine. Um, not only about the food, the ingredients, but also the ambiance. Very zen. If you're in the Mexico City, you should definitely try out one of these two restaurants at least. Hope my video can give you a taste of each incredible restaurant. No matter what I said, at the end of the day, how you feel during and after experience is what matters.